We're looking at the prospects of our first snowfall of the winter season coming in this weekend. First, we're talking about a few showers on Friday, but a cold front is barreling through going to lead to falling temperatures. The first instances of snow showing up in Iowa in the northwestern corner of the state on Saturday, and there is the possibility of some accumulations and maybe even some travel slowdowns too up there where those temperatures are a little cooler. This wave continues to ripple its way southward Saturday night into Sunday. Combination of rain and snow in southern and central Iowa Iowa will continue right through the heart of the day on Sunday. You do see that transition trying to pin snowflakes over central Iowa, but in this early season scenario, it's awfully warm. The ground is warm, the air temperature is warm, and overall a lighter intensity of snow will make it hard to accumulate down towards the metro and the southern portion of the state. That said, if we do pick up an accumulation, it's going to be brief, likely melting quickly and also confined to grassy and other elevated surfaces out there. Talking about this snow, I do think up to two inches may be possible in northwestern Iowa, again with some travel restrictions there. But in central Iowa, again, as I mentioned, it's going to be tough to gather that accumulating factor. Now, if we do get it done, it will be an early look at uh, getting some snowfall. It doesn't happen all too often in October, but definitely not unheard of. Again, looking at those snowflakes best in the northwestern portion of the state, close to home. At this point, I don't expect any travel hindrances around central Iowa. Talking about those October snows, well, we haven't seen it in a couple seasons, but back to back years in 2019, 2020, we got it done. Typically, that first dusting of snow doesn't occur until the midpoint in November. Another component here we're looking at cold temperatures. We're looking at highs uh, getting back into the upper 30s, but those overnight lows are going to be drifting down below freezing, marking our first freeze of the year, but also the wind chill shown here at times. Those will be dipping back into the teens, and it does look like on Tuesday morning we could see some of the coldest.